So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason your MetaQuest 2 and or MetaQuest 3 are randomly turning off. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons out there, but the number one thing and the number one reason why this ends up happening to me is because my particular MetaQuest may just end up having some weird power issues. So what this basically means is that my particular headset that I'm wearing or that I'm using may just end up having some power issues like maybe it's not charged or something along those lines. So the first thing I'd recommend doing here for the most part is to literally just go through and just double check your power of your MetaQuest. Go ahead, plug it into its charging port and plug it into a charger and just let it charge up for a little bit of time. For a lot of people, that's probably all you're going to have to do. And that's the very first step I'd recommend doing in order to fix this problem. So just plug it in, see if that ends up working. And like I said, for a vast majority of people, that's probably all you're going to have to do for the most part. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing I'd recommend doing, you know, to start off with again, is to just make sure that you're power recycling your particular headset properly. So just go through, just hold down that power button of your particular MetaQuest. And once again, just make sure that you're not, you know, pulling it down, make sure you don't have a case on it or anything like that. Because sometimes if you're just going through and if you're holding down that particular power button, there may just be some random times where your headset will just randomly die out because there's something kind of plugging in and kind of holding down the power button of that particular headset. So just go through, you just wanna make sure that's not causing any problems there either. Now, if that's not working, another thing you can try doing too is to just go through and just try seeing if you can update your MetaQuest headset. So make your way over to your settings application of your headset or make your way over to the MetaQuest application on your smartphone and just see if you can actually go through and get an update available for that device. For a lot of people, that's probably all you're going to have to do and that might end up fixing it for you as well. So those are a few different ways to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.